Ivy Hurricanes women's team taking on Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets women's team in college women's basketball. I'm pumped for this matchup. It's a personal game. I have a family member who went to that school, and we also have a friend who also loves Atlanta, Georgia. So let's see where it goes from here. Um, I hope some semi revenge, you know, from Atlanta Falcons game last year. But um, let's go. Tip off. Underway. Georgia Tech has one. The Hurricanes are wearing white and pink today, while the Yellow Jackets are wearing gray. Nice, nice footwork. 
Oh, let's go! Yes! Diverse of colors, pink, orange, green, and a little bit maybe blue as well. I'm wearing all green, but part of pink. Oh. Let's shoot it! First quarter, I hope they show it too, but regardless, yeah, there we go. Miami Hurricanes with a six point advantage after the first, and let's hope the momentum continues in the second quarter. Tough shot, yes! Like then we are only up by two. I've been leading by as many as ten. Wow. 
Well, it's half time for you. That insane buzz meter from short to tick. It's 30 to 29 hurricanes. Wow, I don't believe it. All right, welcome back. After a stunning shot from Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, the Hurricanes are up by one, and they're trying to get something going. Oh, that would have been a good start. Watch out. Damn it. And they take the lead for the first time since the first quarter. What nice play. That was on number 12, Julia Williams, her first team second. Time on the court, media timeout. Are they making sure that if it's behind the line or if it's over? This will be a four point play. And she got the fourth point. Nice move. Shot clock. Nice shot. Point four. Yes. It's 
USA four point advantage. Amazed me how they they did take points much later on as the shot already happened. It's just it, it sense to me. Also, not to mention something like that could dictate the season and dictate the game. Anyway, back back in the game, fourth quarter underway. Sorry for our miniature rant. Rebound. There you go. No. Oh. She missed it. Come on. Wide open. Come on, three. This is your moment. It's destiny. No. Oh. She got through. Good. Yes, Keynes. Ah, uh, just a bad play. Seconds left of the game. The hurricane's up by four. Any shot is clutch. Jumper! Get the. Oh my goodness. Lost it. We got it. No, we don't. We lost it. Give it right back. Oh, she's gonna, oh, oh, thank goodness. We got it. What the, oh, I was gonna say. She's gonna shoot. Uh, one minute left. One minute. Four point advantage still. Oh my god! Jeez! Oh no. Three!
We're gonna take a look. It's our fault. It's gotta be our fault. The left hook, the left hand was still on the ball when the ball landed on the ground. Yeah, it's our ball. Yeah, she's pointing at that direction. Yep, correct call. All right. Well, you know the Georgia Tech defense is about to go top notch. Come on! Yes! Oh my four! All right, we need our defense to be top notch. Defense! defense. 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 Jumper! Short! Up by eight with 8.9 left. Look at the student section. Eight point nine left. The shoot. Oh, well, that would have been something. That would have been some insane shot to end the game. Georgia Tech is a school from downtown Atlanta, Georgia. And believe it or not, folks, I've actually visited Georgia Tech. I saw the football stadium. I saw its arena. I saw its baseball stadium. And believe it or not, I just saw its soccer stadium in Georgia Tech. I'm here to watch my team play against my cousin's school, giving him a shout out. And as well as my friend's, my friend's city school team, it's a privilege. That's it. Final score! 54 58. Look at this. 6458 Miami Hurricane over the North Attack Yellow Jacket. It's the day. Okay. What a good game and what a win. The game finish here today here in Coral Gables, University of Miami at Watsonville Center which is right behind me. And in the end, the Miami Hurricanes with a good win over Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. And it's been down the wire since the, since the game started. Really, the whole game, it's been really close. Um, you know, besides that one point where the Hurricanes were up by 10, it, it's been a pretty close game for this from this game. Um, really, I'm, I'm really privileged to be here. Um, Georgia Tech actually has a history within my family um, because one of my family members actually went to that school and graduated from there. So if he's, if you're watching this, I give you a, a thumbs up and I give you a shout out. Connor, if you're watching this, love you, love you, bro. Miss you. Hopefully Atlanta's true to you, right? And sorry that we kicked your ass. Um, but no, um, no, it's been a good game. Uh, by the way, I did, I did check back the, the shot clock violation and it was pretty close. Um, too close to comfort. Um, but, you know, at the end of it all, I do kind of agree with it. But my complaint 
is that the, the play already happened, right? And shots were made time and time after that shot, meaning let the game go on. It's like baseball, or it's like football in other words. Once the play has been blown dead, it, you cannot go back to it. It's frustrating, but at the end of it all, it really doesn't matter. But um, yeah, folks, that's gonna do it for this video, folks. If you have liked this video, hit that like button, subscribe for content, because Miami TV has your back, and when he does, hit me right there with you, the entertainment you deserve. Miami TV signing off, folks. Good night, everybody.